was the night before Christmas on Thursday Night NFL. Headbutts were storming all over the Baker Mayfell. He's gonna get a concussion, that concussion protocol. But it's okay, the Chiefs won a close one when you thought they were gonna lose it all. But it's okay, we got craziness all about. We even have the Seahawks losing to the Panthers. I don't know how. Then we got the Niners blowing that Brady. But it's okay, because the Niners without Jimmy G and Trey Lance, it's all gravy. We got the Dolphins losing to Bolts in LA. But it's okay, Tyreek and them will turn it around. Maybe, yay? But no matter what we think, the Vikings win a close one. Actually, they lost. How does that work? Because they're usually winning the close ones. And then you got the Predators now in the NFL. I mean the Cleveland Browns. What the hell? Oh no we don't. Buffalo's on top. That means they're going to fight for that number one spot. Chiefs. How are they going to stop? What about them Panthers beating them 12th man? Does that mean that San Francisco is going to do the same on Thursday Night Football? You bet your ass it's down. And what about them Saints? Oh, what a crazy mess. That whole division. Who's really the best? Is it Brady? Is it Darnold? Is it Dalton? Or is it the other one? I forgot the fourth team. They got a new quarterback. And his name is not Brady. His name is Riddler. Like the guy on Batman. Kind of shady. So let's get to our week 15 picks, and this is the noob. Let's get to this shit. All right, so Thursday night football, we got a crazy match. We got the birds hosting an unstoppable match. Is it gonna be a blowout? Or is it going to be close? Every time we play these guys, man, it's really close. But for me on this night and this craziness to come, I do have the Niners winning this one. Got the Saturday games, three of them, and they're all going to be lame. Well, maybe not that bad, but it's okay. We got the horseshoe. We got the horseshoe going all the way to Minnesota where the snow brought down the stadium. Anyways, so this is a game I don't think it'll be close. So I have the Vikings winning this one by 40 and just coast it won't be 40 I was just kidding but it's okay I think it's gonna be maybe 30 to 20 third string quarterback how can they win well Baltimore Ravens go to the Predators I say they might win but it's okay because the Browns are tough defensively can they stop that rookie quarterback or that third string guy? I don't know. We will see. But on this one, I have the Ravens winning. But it's okay because this other guy is sinning. Next one we got snuggled under the tree. Maybe a revenge game. I believe. Dolphins at Bills. Oh my gosh, what? It's going to be scary. I don't know, but I think Buffalo is going to run away with this one by a big margin. Larry. Next one we got the double doink game where this one shouldn't be by a field goal. It's a shame. But on this one, I love the Bears. That's my third team. But I'm sorry, we're not on their level yet, so we're going to get creamed. Next one, how embarrassing. These teams are still in the, the hunt. Which one's going to win? I don't know. It might be a lot of punts. I think on this one it's a little toss-up, but I'm going to have to go with the 
Saints winning this one. With the next games in MetLife. Oh, what a thrill. We got the best offense coming to put a knife, make the final kill. Who's going to win this one? I don't know. It's tough because the Lions on the road sometimes kind of suck. But the Jets are good. Their defense is great. That Mike White train, I don't know. I think it's going to wreck soon because it's kind of late. I don't know. It's a tough one. It's a toss-up for me, but I have to go with the Jets. I might be crazy to see a victory. We were talking about the Mike White hype. How crazy to believe. But now we got the Darnold train coming through to the Pittsburgh City. They're actually playing at home. I'm sorry I messed that up. But, I mean, without Kenny Pickett, they might just fuck up. So on this one, it's tough, but I'm going to go with the craziness. Give me the Panthers. Stop that freaking laziness. They could win the division. How crazy is that? Pittsburgh Steelers get another loss. I'm sorry about that. Next one's a good one. I think it could be. We got the Cowboys going to Jacksonville City. Uh, the, the, the Cowboys were a little confused on the last game. They were playing the Texans, and it was close. What the hell? Are they stupidly lame? No, they are not. They are a tough team to beat. But Jacksonville likes to play better when they're on their home, their feet, in the sleet. I don't know, it's not going to snow in Jacksonville. I'm just kidding. But it's okay, because on this one, I got Dak Prescott beating Trevor Lawrence in his own city. Next one, I'm not even going to talk about very long. Because it's going to be a blowout. Houston is not good. Chiefs are going to win by a margin that long. I say it's going to be about 50 to 0. But the way the Chiefs almost lost to the Broncos, who knows? Maybe the Texans could pull off that hero ball. So on this one is Chiefs. Sorry to say. But Texan fans, Bryce Young is on his way. This one's crazy. I don't, I'm kind of confused. Broncos hosting the Cardinals. Man, it's going to be a freaking shit fest and it's going to be all crazy and loose. It's like um, having diarrhea. And I didn't know what to say with that. So I'm just going to have to go with the Broncos. <laughs> Margarita. Next one, it's teacher versus student. It's where we have Mike McDaniels hosting his teacher. What the hell is going to happen here? I'm not going to sweat because it's going to be a close game. No matter what outcome we get. So on this one, I'm, I, I didn't know. So I'm going to go Raiders winning by a field goal. When you think of a Titan, you think of somebody tough. But these lousy piece of craps, the last few weeks have been nothing but rough to watch. I don't know, Chargers, they got a nice defense now. I mean, at least for one game. I mean, what the hell? I mean, what can we think? Herbert's unpredictable. He's like the actual lightning bolt. So, on this one, I have to think, is it Henry or Herbert? I'm not saying Tannehill because he's nothing but a Flurbert. So on this Christmas story may have a magical end with a lightning bolt striking twice in two weekends. Next one we got a goat in this matchup. But how the hell can he mess up? He's versing a bottle of ketchup. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to rhyme. I got nothing. I'm not so good with the rhyming. Not really. No. But I can't rhyme very well. But anyways, it got the Bengals traveling to Tampa Bay. I mean, what could go wrong, right? But it's based on the way the NFL scripts it. So if I was going to go with the NFL, Tom Brady would win it. But I'm not going that way because I think NFL sleeping. Give me Joe Burrow winning by 13 or 15. Sunday Night Football, Carrie Underwood. She's so beautiful, her husband would kill me, he would. 
But we got the Giants going to the Commanders. Last time they met, it was a tie. I was confused. I didn't understand what would go next. We got a team that looks really good. But when you flip the page and read the book, man, it's crap. Like it would. Then you got the Commanders who turned it all around when Carson Wentz finally went down. Still praying for the guy. I hope he returns. But when he comes back, he's a backup. Because... Commanders are going to win. Monday Night Football. What a shit fest we'll get. We got the Rams going to Lambeau Field with the snowy fest. We got the Baker Mayfield Cinderella story against the Aaron Rodgers, who's nothing but a horror, I guess. Do I take the Packers while they're just a mess? Or do I take the Rams, who look like they're going to turn it around? But you got to remember, they were playing the Raiders. So don't let that frown turn upside down yet. This one's a t- This one's tough for me. I really don't know which way to go. But since they're playing in Lambo, go, Pax. Go. And that's the end of this beautiful story. How is it going to end? Nobody knows, but it's okay. I'm not worried. And what it's going to be a winter wonderland ending in Lambo where the snow's coming down. Man, it's going to be crazy. A lot of things going to be twists and turns. Maybe the bears are my upsets. Who knows? Well, we'll see. Thank you for watching the Week 15 Picks. Merry Christmas to all. And to all, I got to take a shit. Thumbs up. Like and subscribe. You guys are the best. Not to me. See you next time on chapter two of our lovely, wonderful book. NFL. What the hell?